Hey guys, how you doing? It's Sam again. Um, firstly, I wanted to apologize that I haven't posted a video for a couple of months. I think the last one was a six month update since my hair transplant. Um, it's been a pretty hectic couple of months. Uh, my wife gave birth to our baby girl about a month ago and um, it's all gone uh, pretty crazy. The other reason I haven't posted is because in the last couple of months, in short really, I haven't noticed that much growth and I kind of didn't want to um, post an update without any kind of substance. So I did take some photos when it got to the seven month mark. So I'll post those uh, here. but we're eight months in, just gone eight months in. Uh, mixed feelings at the moment. Let me show you what I mean. So uh, I'm in a hotel, as you can see at the moment. I'm under pretty harsh lighting, but it's, the hair transplant feels like it's coming on relatively nicely, um, but I do feel there's quite a few gaps. Let me show you what I mean. I sort of examine the hairline, there's still quite a few gaps, particularly this side. Let's see if I can focus. So like this side, there's quite a few. There we go. Yeah, this side, there's quite a few gaps and I'm slightly worried that they're not gonna grow in. They, they, I've messaged the clinic and they said that's 80% of the hairs should have now come through, but they said the final look is only about 60%. So I'm a bit nervous. I don't know how much thicker or how much more density it is. I mean, overall, considering where I was before, I'm really pleased. Um, you know, I have some form of a hairline and I can style it now, certainly in ways that I couldn't style it um, before I had the hair transplant, but there is still a noticeable, uh, some noticeable patchiness, I guess, at the front. I mean, when I sort of have the fringe up, it's, it's obviously much more obvious. And if I go into the light, then you can really see it. You know, it's very sort of thin there i mean if i sort of put my hair down a bit you know i sort of give myself a fringe or push it to the side then it's much less noticeable but if i sort of show you where we're at then so that's obviously from the front that's from on top and then that's one side and then the other side. And we've got to come up there. Let me see it from the back. The one thing I am in, very impressed with is the donor management. The the back, I, you know, I've shaved this down to a grade zero and I still can't really see much of any scarring, really. There is some, but it's so not obvious at all. So I think that's, that's really, really good, and they've done an excellent job with that. Um, I'm just slightly worried that, considering there wasn't a ton of grass to go with in the first place, that it's not as thick as I want. I might be over worrying. It might be a case that in the next couple of months it will thicken up a bit anyway. And you know, I'm I'm being reminded often that not to judge the results properly until we hit the 12 month mark. Um, and it might just be managing my own expectations. I had quite a thin hair anyway. I didn't feel like I needed tons of coverage to begin with anyway. I've gone with quite a conservative hairline. I don't think I've brought it down too much, but I would have expected certainly the first third of the hair to have been thicker at this point. Um, I am starting to feel little pimples sort of towards the mid scalp and the crown where obviously new hair is um, is coming through, which is which is great. Um, 
But yeah, so mixed feelings. Um, I don't really know what else to say at the moment. We're eight months, there's, there's still four months left to go. Um, I'm still on finasteride, still taking that. Um, my hair loss has certainly stabilized since taking it, that's for sure. There's less hair coming out. Um, it's just a case now where this, this needs to thicken up a bit. I mean, if I use things like the dry shampoo or hair fibers or anything like that, then that, that certainly helps aesthetically. Um, you know, sometimes I'll put styling powder in to, to, to style it and that helps. So there's, there's things I can do to kind of thicken it. So it's certainly not awful when I go out, it's certainly a lot better, but I would, I would, I would really want this to, um, to thicken up. So it might just be me over worrying. It might be that there's some failed grass. I don't really, know the answer. I've asked the clinic to shed some advice. Um, the last message I got from FUE Capilla was that they were showing my pictures to Dr. Turan. Um, they've had some kind of vacation, I think, where the clinic's been closed for the last few days. So um, I'm hoping I hear from them soon. But let me know what you think, you know, particularly people who've had hair transplants. If anybody's been in my situation, then your advice is most welcome. Um, yeah, I really, I really don't know. I've real, real mixed feelings at the moment. It's strange because even from this side, like apart from that little bit there, even that side is much more, I mean, it's still a little bit thin in there, but it's still a lot more consistent. Whereas that side is quite patchy difficult to see whether there's I mean there's some there are some sort of baby hairs but it's not an awful it's really difficult to show on this I'm only recording this on my phone today but it's really difficult to tell whether it's going to thicken up or new hairs are going to come through or not I don't know I'll let you know the progress and I'll post another video in a month talk to you soon